function, the ability to both move, similar to our drive unit that we inventory our own fulfillment centers, and manipulation, the ability to grasp or handle items, uh, similar to our products like raw or sterile. Uh, so by combining these into a single factor, regardless of the shape or form factor it can take, uh, we can start to look at automation in different types of areas. Um, Agility Robotics is part of our industrial innovation fund. Uh, we're excited to be broadening our partnership to begin this early stage testing. Uh, the Industrial Innovation Fund is a billion dollar venture capital fund that focuses on innovation across different supply chain technology domains. Uh, you might be asking yourself, what is a mobile manipulator? I described that a little bit there. Uh, the use case that we're looking at here that we're very interested in is tote recycling. Uh, so totes are all over the building. You've probably seen quite a few of them today. Uh, and after we've consumed the inventory out of them, uh, they need to make their way back into the network uh, so we can use them again and again and again. Uh, so typically this task is actually automated through the use of a conveyor. Uh, so as soon as you're done uh, consuming the inventory, you place the tote on the conveyor and it goes on to be used later down the line. In some of our buildings, we can't use a conveyor. Uh, Faith in the size of the space just isn't conducive to that, or you might be very far away from a manipulation. So this then has a very manual and repetitive task, typically taking empty totes off the floor and then having to find them later on. Uh, so we're very excited about a solution like this to automate that type of task. Uh, as you can see here, uh, Digit is very good at the repetitive task, but we still need a higher judgment uh, employee at the end of the conveyor to do the task of selecting the right envelope size and packing out the item, which is a higher risk task. Um, at Amazon, we have a very rigorous product development cycle, uh, and we are at the very early stages of testing. Like I mentioned earlier today in the keynote, we start with a very small test and we incrementally build confidence that we're solving the right problem for our customers uh, and improving the employee experience, and that's how we can make it through development. Uh, this is actually our first week of testing here at Amazon. We're really excited to be at this point and watch this technology evolve.